Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to In Sound Mind. The last time we met our most difficult patient yet, Max Nygaard, who I'm starting to believe, if it hasn't been all but explicitly stated yet, in spite of his court-mandated therapy sessions for his anger, did eventually come back here and go on presumably some kind of rampage with his vehicle. Uh, we don't know what became of him after that, but, well, my character has noted that all my patients seem to be dying left and right. I've been reading your comments on this game because, honestly, you've been so insightful and made me appreciate this game even more by pointing out things that I didn't even notice. Hello? Who is that at the end of the hallway? Clearly we'll need a gas mask to reach you. Or is this going to be another one of those segments where I seem to be cracking up? We're totally disarmed of anything else while we do this. Make it quick. this game? Wait, wait! Oh, I was still holding it to my face. I thought I just had to, like, let go of right-click. Well, I lost some face to that, basically suffocating myself. Ah, oh, this filter is clearly not doing much. Alright, uh, well, we have some health here. But yeah, that was mean, placing that thing right there. Experiment X095 to lure... Lure pill. Ingredient chart. Bilepo pheromone mix. Secured case in first floor safe room. Tryptocybin mushroom extract. Recordia cold storage. And tryptocybin mushroom e extract Rikus, third floor. Ask Mr. Hill. That's right, they were doing experiments on medications with livestock here. Tube liquid compounds are to be placed in assigned slots in the fabricator. Uh, this is a Resident Evil style puzzle, is it? We've got to find the ingredients and merge them together. Along with the receptacle at the bottom, pill jars can be found in storage. Please adhere to all safety and sanitary regulations. Uh, why do I feel like that last sentence comes with a wink emoji attached? Uh, attention all employees. As renovation work continues in our brand new distribution center, we're still in the process of removing and repurposing machinery and equipment left over from the quarry. Do not attempt to use any of them without prior authorization, as improper use may lead to injury or death. Ask before using anything you're not familiar with. S. Hill. Is the idea that he's a pharma shill? This hallway is not how we found it before. Uh, but it's still somewhat dangerous in terms of the presence of this substance. We could spare some ammo to clear it out, but I don't know how wise that is. Uh, but I do, I think, still have... Yeah, I do still have these chips. So maybe we're still doing some little puzzles with these cables, right? Yeah, there we are. Uh, but we need to get in to get in. That's... a thing. Well, let's get looking for these chemical components. Oh, look at this place. McReady, keep your lure pill experiments as far away from ours as possible. One of those pills found its way into our chemical shipment and nearly blew up a delivery truck. A mixing of our chemicals and your pills is just a disaster waiting to happen. Nedry. My health. Pretty good. Yeah, it might take me a minute to kind of get my brain back in this. I'm finding it a little bit hard to commentate. 
It's been nearly a week since I recorded anything at this point because I've just been editing stuff for Halloween all week. But now I'm back into it, and this must be the thing. Yep. Now we can get some more supplies here, but only if we're able to uh, figure out where exactly to place that thing. Uh, over that way. There's unnatural darkness here. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm sure it's fine to just start messing with machinery I don't understand before I even know what it does. Just keep on doing this. Oh no. There's a bunch of them, each with four positions. That can be nothing but good to start just randomly messing with. Let's get rid of that as well. Uh, now I'm really going to need all that stuff. Uh, it looks like there's some missing valves. Will I have to find that? And maybe this little knob on the end represents direction of travel, so this would be the open position? If I'm correct about that. The thing about this game that I like is that it's had a lot of puzzles that seem complicated on the surface, but are always actually really simple once you understand them. Simply put, XO95 to Lure, or Lure Pill, was created to test cattle control as subjects have been found to follow the scent of the pheromone after treatment. And its effects on humans is still unknown. Human testing is, unfortunately, still frowned upon. Uh, blue, purple, green. There's a small slot for a vial here. Okay, so this is going to be how we do our mixing, is it? What does this have to do with the valves down below? Now, I'm just gonna- oh! Death! How can that be triggered? Dude, I've been here for so long, my brain has not woken up yet, and you just did that? Can you just appear randomly? Because there have been certain things that have felt like that. But I've always thought, like, it must be scripted in some way, because you just don't do it that often. Uh, maybe I'll be a little bit more awake now. Uh, we don't have any way to break that box just yet. Alright, uh, let's get to work. So we are here in the assembly room. At the end is the control room and the frozen storage. And, oh man, we gotta move all the way down the hall to fully see this entire thing. Maybe I'll be better to picture things once I've done more exploring. Uh... And whoop. Hi. Boom! Oh, so this does work on you guys. <laughs> okay, uh, shotgun, 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 boom. 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 Uh, I think I wasted a shell there. I think that actually did get you both that time. Uh, aim for head level when you're right next to each other, and that spread actually will take care of you. Slightly more limited ammo, but certainly fun so use of it. Alright, we're playing some Floor is Lava. Maybe there's something we can find here. The empty pill jar. Well, now we've got something to store our little science project in. Uh, plastic, cleaning supplies, mop, bev cups, coffee filters. And all that... Oh no. Hi. Hi. Oh no, you can navigate around. Alright, and you can break boxes. You can break boxes. Uh, come here, I have a job for you. Uh, not the way I needed to go. Right through this way, sir. The doctor is seeing new patients now. Come on. Right this way. Through here, sir. Now tell me, what seems to be troubling you? Stress at work? Right over here, I just need to figure out how to get you to hit me. There we go! <laughs> now to kill you and find out if that actually worked. I really feel like we made a breakthrough here. For example, that shell broke through your skull. Oh, I cannot believe that actually worked. 
Uh, then again, acting as a rodeo matador has sort of been the whole way to get things done in this game. Ooh, lure pills can also be used to attract enemies, even furthering that mechanic. Which, to get back to what I was saying before, is another reason why I love reading your comments. You've given me so much insight that makes me appreciate the game even more. For example, this guy, we kind of have to act as a matador, using him to break down obstacles, using ourselves as bait. And of course he does have that big pair of bullhorns on the front of his car that he apparently used to wreck this place up. Now these lure pills were apparently full on. Uh, and they can also boost my stats and restore health. How does that work? Uh, I'm not sure how that... Hang on. How do I pick them up? It says... Too much for one man. It's, it's, it says full, but I don't have any. Maybe I'm just, like, not allowed to have them yet? Oh, this is just here to screw with me. <laughs> Okay, well, this is what we've upgraded our speed and stamina for. A boot. And run 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 Yes! Ah, it reminds me of doing the course in Modern Warfare 2. Okay, stealth essential here. Nope, 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 nope. Already blue stealth, already blue stealth, already blue stealth. Uh but I bet this I bet this is how we get into that booth. Uh, just hang on while I disassemble this electrical panel. Don't have anything urgent going on. Might as well put in a two. Only need a one. What does that do for me? Uh, there's a couple of things it could do. What it actually does remains to be seen. Uh, I could flare you to death. That would probably be a one-hit kill. Your health is probably too... Come on. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that was a Scooby-Doo moment right there. Uh, whoa. And, oop, and boom! And boom! Oh, you didn't die after two? That's annoying. And I don't have a whole lot of health left for... experimentation. Man, it has not been giving me the big-ticket health items lately. Oh, I guess I could have used it to power that on as a trap. Perhaps I still can? Seems very likely that there's going to be enemies swarming this room any moment. Let's use our flashlight to get a better idea of what's going on here. Our access... Uh, both the good and bad news is that movement is quite restricted in this space. Makes it hard to avoid enemies, but it does make it easy to corral them. I think there's not enough power. No, I need the three. But I don't think I can get the three because I need that to power the elevator, which means that if I were to go take it, I wouldn't be able to get back up. Break. Break. And is this just a shortcut, or is this a whole new area? Now, if I can step into the role of English teacher for just a moment... This was a place of work, right? It's a very hot and sweaty location. One where a very blue-collar patient uh, spent his time. And the place he's chosen, seemingly, is the place to symbolize everything that he's about. And what this company has done here is done experiments on trying to get cattle, cattle for food, to essentially be more obedient. Pretty good. Now the symbolism there is actually, well, quite apparent. I, I, I guess what it's meant to say is that this patient feels dehumanized in the position that he's in. Like, he's basically a wage slave, and ultimately misunderstood and having everything taken away from him for what he believes are unjust reasons. Oh, screw you, yellow man. Mm. Oh, you're being meta now. I mean, you've always been meta, but this is like even more than before. 
This is the second time you tried to suffocate me. But that glass on the ground indicates that we'll need eyes beyond seeing to get out of this. What is it that you want me to see? What is all that? Alright, so you're showing me these pipes crisscrossing all over the place. Uh... Oh, I am actually... I am actually... Clipping with them. Oh, it's an entire invisible platforming section. This can go nothing but well for me. Uh, how long do you stay? Not very long, I bet. Uh, but you know what? I think just long enough. Just long enough that I can climb up and out of here. Can we get up through here? Yeah, there we go. Uh, only question now is what do we do? Well, this is a twist of fate. Perhaps the mirror can show us more? Uh, it's not showing me a whole lot more. Not a whole lot I can engage with at this very moment. Uh, but wait, can I climb up here? Yeah, okay, there's that. And there's that. There we are. All right. For a moment, it looked like there was no way out. Now, given our experience in the department store, I can't help but point out the fact that the developer is very aware of how vulnerable we are when we have our flashlight out. Looks fragile. And a darkened section like this is made for us to pull our flashlight out. So why, in this moment, does the developer want us to feel vulnerable, like we can't respond to a sudden threat? Or perhaps a jump scare of some sort? Why is the developer using the use of sound cues to put us on edge? Perhaps in preparation for a jump scare? Color me absolutely surprised. And now it's open. Wait, it's still showing... It's still showing something on the table, though. The fan's still on. Am I going to fall for the same thing twice? Is that what's going to happen? Incinerator room key. Okay. Uh, I, I honestly would not put it past the developer's sense of humor for the same thing to happen if you pick up the same key again. Because I'd have nobody to blame but myself. All right. It's locked. Let's get in there. That was the wrong thing. <laughs> that was a tremendous waste of resources. Uh, oof. Climbing down into this doesn't seem like the smartest plan, but uh, sometimes we make our bed and then we have to lie in it. That's just uh, the way of the world. Run. Yep. 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 Yep, -er. Oh man, this guy... I, I, I wonder if he actually expects it to be this easy. Like, I, I wonder... If he's not just, like, sighing in exasperation at how easy I'm making this for him. Especially since he can't seem to kill me when he's actually trying. Now, sooner or later, something that's going to save me has got to fall onto this belt, right? That's got to be what happens. It's got to be. Unless this is another one of those pointless fool's errands he's sending me on. Maybe I actually do have to jump down into the pit below, or maybe not. Maybe not. I do, in fact, see the glow from the flames. It is a real thing. Uh, I could potentially jump... Wait, it looks like I can jump to the side. Uh, I wasn't sure if this is going to be one of those cases where you try to jump to the side, but there's like an invisible wall. Seemed like it might be one of those. Come on, please let me break glass. 
And back into the vents. Let's run with the incinerator. Perhaps something which threatens to burn this whole building down with me in it? No, actually it seems like we're just unlocking shortcuts, which is very, very good for me. In fact, if we open things up in just the right way, we could get that 3-volt chip again. If this goes out to the first floor. Yes, here we are, sweet! Okay, that's that issue resolved. Now I've just got to figure out the rest of this place. Processing zone! He's inside, he's inside, he's inside. Okay. Now that we have some power to something restored, uh, what do you say we go back over there and see if that storage space is opened? Because if it is, we can replenish our flares and not have to think about the crazy bull rush going on down there. Well, we're going to see Mr. Nygaard again. Oh, great. Lots of long hallways, ideal for him to chase us down. And depending on which way we're facing at the time, we could have an advantage on the conveyor belts or a disadvantage as they slow us down. Uh, but the music indicates we're getting close. As some of you guys said, it's very Doom-esque. Ah, we can drop some barriers. Which, as a therapist, I would normally be against, but uh, normally my patients don't try to murder me. Now, where is he at, though? That's the real question. And also, why do I want to lower these? Maybe I can use them to trap things? The geometry of this room definitely favors me! More than outside did. Unless I end up running the wrong way down the track. That's a not good thing. Oh, come on. All right, this guy can deplete my health really, really quickly, so I need to stay away from him as much as possible. But honestly, I'm not even sure what I'm looking for down here. What is that? Is that a friggin' landmine? Seems like I can't open it here. Oh, it's some kind of locked case. How about now? It has a small magnetic lock. Uh okay. So what's gonna happen that'll enable you to open that? Whatever's in there is presumably the sample that I'm looking for, right? Magnetic. What would help us with that? Can't I just start picking up these rocks and shoving them in his exhaust pipes? I feel like that would be a good thing to do. Yeah, what happens when you come on contact with one of these? Ah, that'll push you off and onto another path. They redirect you. That's why they're angled. We need to get you to go down a certain path. But what path? Uh, presumably there's got to be something magnetized, right? Well, look, we know... We know that it's going to come down this path, right? Okay. Nope, but if we... Look, we need to open this, right? Open that so it can get through. Uh, which means that it'll go further down up to here. And what'll that mean? That means it'll drop down to here and continue along this path. Which must be what we want, right? They wouldn't let us just fail this on purpose. Okay, there's the case. It's now moving past the point where we had it before. You're gonna go under there, lame. No, not what we need. Unless going back there is what we need, but no, it isn't. So let's open that. And what about this one? I think that's also not what we need, so open up. Uh, we do probably need one like here-ish. How do we get you onto those raised tracks? That's what we do know, is that we need you on that second level. All right, so we need you to turn here. Yep! 
no, 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 no. We need you to turn there, uh, which means that in order to get you onto this track, we need a stopper here. So now we just gotta, yeah, he's actually, if you're careful, he's actually fairly powerless in this section. I'm just hoping that bag does what I want it to. And also hope it doesn't get destroyed by the flaming devil beast. Man, even his design actually seems to be inspired somewhat by Doom. Alright. Well, you should be able to make the turn right here. Up onto a second level. And I'm going to go a little bit ahead so that we can see where you'll actually be going. Oh, this section is so dark. If you come around to here... And you'll go this way, uh, gimme, gimme, gimme. All around through here. Up to here, and this should be it. This should be exactly what we needed. Okay, great. Finished work on your safe room. Once you flip the switch, the electromagnetic energy emitted should be enough to open the magnetic lock. Why you had me convert an old blast room into a room where you can open stuff is a mystery. You guys sure do love your protocols. Uh, I'm starting to love Gary from Electrical. He's sort of the main character at this point. Uh, it's probably going to be a little while before that case shows up. Uh, which means I have plenty of time to just sort of doot doot around. Secure delivery protocol. Upon receiving a secured case, deliver it to the conveyor center. Place the case on the conveyor belt and use the controls to direct it into the safe room. Make sure you don't actually send the secured case to a different part of the facility, as that could result in the termination of your employment. Wow, this was a ridiculous minigame that some employee had to play every day for the sake of his job. Each secured case contains sensitive proprietary material. Defend it with your lives if necessary. So what is it with all the management types in this game being like Dwight Schrute-esque? Like people who take their menial jobs way too seriously. Does that case come through yet? Uh, I'm assuming that green light means that it has. There we are. And this enables us to open up. Bolepo pheromone mix. And that one, I guess, goes in the purple slot. Formula Bolepo. A potent aggregation pheromone found in only 7% of known beetle species, specifically stemming from the central Amazon forest area. At its purest, the chemical substance has been found to have aggregation effects on other species other than its own beetle. It is highly illegal and dangerous to harvest this pheromone, let alone ship it out of the state of the Amazonas. This compound seems to have a volatile reaction to ancient rainbow, liquid form keep in sealed case unless properly handled. That sounds like something that was discovered the hard way. Alright, that's one. And now with the conveyor belt to help us, let's ride like the wind and get the heck away from this guy. The less time we spend with him, the better. Although, I am sort of starting to ask the question of how he got in there in the first place. Now it said purple. There's a small slot for a vial here. In we go. And that reveals that it's flowing through your pipes. Can we actually see that reflected in the well reflection? Uh, we can. And we can see oh that's cool. That means we'll be able to see what's actually going on in those pipes, I bet. Yeah, so if we go like that. Yes, now you're moving there. Okay, okay, this is actually quite intuitive. Boom. Alrighty. Boom. Boom. And I just heard a very good sounding little bing indicates that it is now here. What happens if we try activating this now? Nah, we do need all three. Alright, but we understand how this works now. That's good. 
Ah, here we go. Seems like it's held by screws. Yeah, okay. Now we'll be able to open it. And I believe we have all Pretty three sure of the things. It. Uh, we have two of them. One of them is still in one of those traps back there. I could plug a chip in there. And there we are. Which means we can now help ourselves to some very tasty loot. One moment, please. And now we can help ourselves to some very tasty loot. Ooh. More speed, more health. Numb. Got everything we Glad need. To see it's still good. All right, now I can see the cold storage there, and I really need to figure out how to get in. There's a box right there and a box right there. But all of that seems to be beyond where I can actually travel. Oh, there is a room right here. Okay. What does it offer us besides more shotgun ammo, which I am always very grateful for? Oh, it's just a supply dump. Well, I can see that there's a vent there. So however we get through to this, it's got to involve the vent, right? But where do we find the entrance to such a thing? We can't crawl in there. Can't crawl in here. Wait, maybe? Okay. Ah, hello. I didn't even see you when I was using the mirror to look for panels. All right, well there you go. I could plug a chip in there. Two volt, and you're open finally. Jeez. All right, so that gets us in here, but it doesn't get us into the cold storage itself. For that, we'll have to fight the darkness. go, which reveals another power box, and that's very convenient. I guess that darkness is actually physical enough that it can hold up solid metal fences, although it does make me wonder what was holding it up before, or why I'm trying to apply actual physical logic to this world, which we don't fully understand the nature of yet. I mean, there's even some argument to be made that all of this could be literally happening. Well, let's go. Uh. Whole lot of this stuff, and I don't think blowing up these barrels is gonna fully help. Is it safe to take it off here? Yeah, it looks like we're good. Okay, now we have the Mushroom Extract Recordia. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Constituent of the blah, blah, blah. Displays sedative, hypnotic, depressant, and hallucinogenic psychoactivity. Erosion and loss of potency linked to subtle heat. Keep frozen. Depressant and hallucinogenic psychoactivity. Hi. Yeah. To be honest, this is like the third or fourth time you've done something like this, and I pretty much expected it. I should have talked about it, then I could have been all like, I told you so. Oh wait, no, you didn't even trap me? Huh. Dude, you forgot to do the thing. Oh, you're getting lazy. Which I've long suspected. I pointed out in the last episode that his phone calls are getting, uh... Well, they have less bite than they did before, to say the least. And, you know, that actually makes sense, because everything he says is meant to erode our confidence in ourselves. But we're probably restoring that confidence as we help more of our patients. There's a small slot for a vial here. That goes in there. Let's just use our mirror to see it inside the pipes. And get this thing going. Out. 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 
And that's all it took. Two out of three. And I have to say, points for flair. This isn't some boring machine. They really made it feel like a Fisher-Price toy. Oh. Um, and so it has cost me so much time in this part, hiding these boxes behind boxes. So annoying. Right, get down, and that's no good. Oh no, they're gonna make us have a Silent Hill moment. Oh, this feels truly claustrophobic. Boom. I wonder how much work it was to make sure the player could actually walk through here. Have the pipes solid without blocking the player's path. Furthermore, what do you want us to see in here? And it's actually a real good thing they expect us to use flares on this part. Because it is very dark inside this wall. Uh, it looks like an ogre with something between its teeth, doesn't it? Uh, speaking of big ugly ogres... How bad would it be if Max started punching his head through the walls while we're in here? It would be like Mouse Hunt from the wrong perspective. Now, how do we progress beyond this point? Also, I hear something moving around. I can stand up here. Ah, there we go. Time for another flare. Thank you for another flare. And I am incredibly impressed that that entire moment managed to pass without another scare. But we can lead things better than we found them by opening that gate for all future travelers. It's no use. Which I think is worth doing just as a courtesy. And there we are. They said the third floor would be where we can find that last substance, said to ask Mr. Hill. According to the map, Mr. Hill's office is up here. That was Cortana again. I, I was starting to think I had missed something with that. We haven't heard her since the ship. It's a key card reader. It looks new. No dice. Okay. That's but, but I must believe. Who are you? And she said fear research. She was talking about fear research. Did this experiment to make cattle more compliant... Did it end up, like, becoming some kind of scarecrow scheme? I can actually see this whole project evolving into whatever substance this is. three of these chips. Yeah. All three to get this door open. Uh, which is a little bit of a problem, because I actually don't remember what I did with my other one. I'm assuming that you're going to be two. Right? And you're probably going to be one. Which means the first guy is going to be three. I'm just going based on distance. All right, Shill, what secrets are you holding? Central Intelligence Bureau, again. Agent Bird, your incident report is extremely worrisome. Letting the transport ship crash under your watch makes us question your capability as a field operative. The successful resurrection of 
something after lying dormant for 30 years depends on our ability to maintain a low profile. You did not use enough blackout for that one. This is why Milton Haven was something sight. I'm assuming Chosen is the sight. The damage control you performed does not alleviate our concerns. All it takes is one busybody with a camera that something for our feet to be held to the fire. It's only a matter of time before the something starts something populous. We have a cover story prepared, but it'll only buy us a limited amount of time before the local media starts asking too many questions. If you don't wish to spend the next five years at one of our secure facilities, we suggest you get results. Soon. So they were scrambling to keep this thing under wraps, and it wasn't exactly working. I wonder if maybe they haven't done the same thing to George as they did to Alan. Chill. Due to the sensitive nature of the something, you are to keep it secured inside your new personal safe until it can be collected by someone from the ancillary research team. The safe's default code is blanked out. Do not under any circumstances store anything in the safe before changing the combination. Thank you, bird. Regarding Max. So, let me get this straight. You hired a driver without a proper background check, who then proceeds to crash one of our delivery trucks while carrying important cargo, and when rightfully terminated, comes crashing into the quarry with his own truck, demanding his job back? This is a major screw-up. Do you realize that your poor decision-making has put this entire facility in harm's way? He broke Gary from Electrical's jaw just for getting in his way. Oh no, Gary. Max, you are really stretching my empathy for you. Max Nygaard isn't salt of the earth. He's dirt. I find it hard to believe that anyone in this big wide world cares about this madman, but it doesn't matter. Take care of him. And here's the employee info on Max. Uh, more battery, which was draining the entire time I was in that, uh, note. Uh, well, it's a long shot, but are you being literal? You are! Okay, uh, 8136. Much obliged. But who are you? Uh, let's get some light on this. Uh, eight, one, three, six. There we are, and there is the substance. We're almost ready. But to figure out what's behind those doors, I do need to go figure out what I did with my one vault. Uh, mushroom extract, Rikus. Naturally occurring psychoactive chemical compound, a powerful neurotoxin, non-selective glutamate receptor agonist for optimal extraction of compounds, keep it room temperature and dry storage. Now look, uh, by these powers combined, and with the assumption that it eventually forms whatever this is, so we learned just now that it uh, presumably causes damage, like health effects. We learned that it causes depression and uh, hallucinations. And we learned that it causes compliance. Now, we haven't really seen too much of that third thing, but you know, we have been having some very weird hallucinations. And come to think of it, uh, in a sort of Bioshock -esque situation, we have been doing everything we've been asked. <laughs> archives. Uh, maybe we can learn a little more in here. That is the point of archives, after all. One of the scientists, Rosemary James, has presented an intriguing complementary research proposition and is asked to establish a research station by the radio tower in Elysium State Park. Normally I wouldn't bother you with such a request, but our lack of progress here is getting worrisome. I have looked into the premises. It is technically government property, but this place has been abandoned for years. William Byrd, liaison. 
I'm guessing Rosemary James is our Cortana, and I'm guessing that that place in the park is where we're going next. Because the next patient's door is green. And it's presumably at the heart of where this alternative use comes from. Key card. And it's Rosemary's. Your research proposition is quite fascinating, Rosemary. I never would have thought to, in to integrate electromagnetic radiation via radio into our research. If you're serious about presenting this to the higher-ups, then you have my blessing. Seth. We're gonna have to run this little gauntlet again. Whoop. And whoop. In order to retrieve our missing thing. Where was that? Back here. And we should now have the full means to open that door. And this that I missed before, which would have saved us that little trip. We can open this from here. I could plug a chip in there. On the vault, which activates the card reader. It's a key card reader. Which is activated by our card. And the radio man from the war. A connection. Radio wave. Brain waves. Rainbow could be possible. Possible. From the war. Okay, this is gonna be an absolute wealth of information. Uh, test report, blah, blah, blah. Uh, mental breakdown followed by cardiac arrest. Subject disposed of. Uh, psychotic break followed by severe brain hemorrhaging. Subject disposed of. Analysis. Xanagraphazole is still unstable at this stage. And its effects on the nervous system are unpredictable. Further testing is required before we can proceed with human subject research. But you did get to it eventually, did you? And in this spill between the truck and what happened with the ship, I guess a lot of residents of this town were exposed. Uh, more health. More stealth. And more s stamina? Yeah, stamina. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Past experimentation concluded its effects in amnesia, hysteria, psychosis, and hallucinations. See references BZ Ultra and the Montauk Files. Uh huh. I was going to draw a comparison to MK Ultra, but it seems the game has gone ahead and done that for me. Can't they ultimately are bite. doing mind control experiments in. Scarecrow Fear Toxin. Uh, material Requisition Form. Agent Rainbow Residue. And Tryptocybin Extract. This all says 1997, so all of this was happening very recently. Uh, which means the effects that patients experience are sudden and severe. Let's figure this out once and for all. We've gotta... We've gotta put the blue one, or no, not the blue one, the green one, in the green slot. In you go. And now we've gotta highlight you so we can figure out which valves we need to turn. That'll be a U. And a U. Alright, green pipe is angled that way. Go. All right, just gotta turn you and you. No, you, yeah, and then you. I love to hear that beat. Now. With all three powers combined, uh, let's find out what the actual finished product we get is. Oh no, we it's probably need to put the pill jar there. and synthesize the pills. There we are. Maybe I should 
try. Uh, what's the worst that can happen? Wait, so... No, hang on! Hang on! Hi. We went to all this effort to make these pills that were in the other room. What, I had to make them to be able to pick them up and eat them? That is some video game logic if I ever heard it. Uh, can I not open this? It's no. From the other side. Okay. I'm not quite sure. Get you and get you. You know what? I'm actually thinking I'm wrong now about those objectives. I was confused because it says fix the loading platform to get to the second floor. Which I've already done, so I thought that collect all pills was the next active objective. But I think that's just talking about the upgrades. I think I need to use the pills to tame the bull. And fix the loading platform was... I had it and then it probably took it away because I removed the, the fuse. Alright, let's get down there. And let's figure out how this works. Where are you, Max? And how can something so huge hide down here? Maybe he's not hiding at all. Maybe he's back out in the yard. If you pilled it, they will come. Yeah, nice uh, Field of Dreams reference. All right. Well, Max, you said that I was just going to prescribe you some pills, but plot twist, I'm prescribing me pills. Or maybe I had to prescribe you pills. Never mind. There you go. Ah, a little dependent, are you? Well then, follow me to the quarry, I guess. Do you need to come through here? Is that what has to happen? Alright, pull this way. Oh, that seems to put you into a different state. But... For how long? Uh, oh, you, you, you drop more pills. Ow. And now you're angry again. Okay. Wait. Yeah, at the back door. Oops. Almost crushed me between the railing and the shipping container. That would have been bad. Woohoo. All right. Uh, this way. This way, friendo. And if that's open, uh, up and over. Into the quarry. Oh. I I is that what we have to do? Are we trapping you? We can't fix your rage, we just have to contain it. That was a little bit of a pathetic ramming, but uh, that's okay. Maybe it means you're losing your spark. We actually kind of don't want you to have a spark in this circumstance. Ugh. I'm low on health, and I don't have a lot of places to hide. Uh, not to mention, uh, with all this waste, I can't see anything. Oh, were they really just dumping out here? Hey, bud. Right into my friends. You did a subpar job of killing them! Are you just not damaging them? Or Well, it looks like you might have got some of them, maybe? Uh, or maybe not. So stealth is off the table for this segment. Uh, things are happening too fast, and it makes it really hard to think. Uh, I don't have any way of healing... Yep, I'm quite aware of that. Oh, I don't have enough stamina, don't have enough health. I'm pretty screwed here. There's got to be health nearby somewhere. Not what I needed. Did you ram the fence down? I really need you to. I need to get somewhere where I can pick off these enemies. Since you don't seem to be damaging them. I really didn't think you guys would all be on the same team here. 
In fact, the bigger of you doesn't actually seem capable of teamwork. Come on. And push me into the toxic sludge, that's fine. It doesn't actually seem to damage me, though. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, you're... you're... great. Right. If I can eliminate you, that frees me up significantly. You're seriously all dropping one HP in this very moment when my health is the lowest it's ever been. I don't think I've actually died yet in this playthrough. Can we have a no-death run? That would be pretty sick. Uh, nope, no, 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 nope. You're gonna start using your gas attack. I cannot afford to explore this area until later. Right here in the flooded quarry. Let's go! You didn't do it. Okay. Kinda thought I was gonna drown you, extinguish your flame. Now, cornered is not a place you want to be. There goes all the health I just gained back. Now what? Pump station. Okay, you're gonna have to ram this down, but I, I don't want to even attempt that until after I've healed up just a little bit. Kind of busy here. Yeah, I'm answering the phone. So now we're drawing the comparison on a literal level, huh? Well, let's take what we can. I especially need that health. Uh, yeah, I can't read this while... On Tuesday, the Minos Quarry officially closed its doors for the last time. Meyer Pharmaceuticals, an American leader in medicine and science, has reportedly purchased the entire quarry grounds and then some. Their plans to convert the old factory into a shiny new distribution center will begin within two months' time. We're very excited, says Mr. Stephen Hill of Meyer. Milton Haven is near and dear to our hearts, and we are proud to do our part by, gaining, by creating gainful employment for the people of this fine town. We can't wait to become part of the family. This historical quarry, owned and operated by the Minos Corporation for decades, was primarily used for the mining of silver and lead, and was considered to be a bedrock of employment for many in Milton Haven. As the yield began to decline over the past decade, however, the Minos Quarry has streamlined its operations and reduced its workforce significantly across the quarry, the processing factory, and adjacent power station. Meyer swooped in and saved Minos behind, said Bob one of the few employees that was still working on the quarry grounds at the time of the buyout. I don't mind, so long as we don't bomb ourselves back to the Stone Age. People will always need security guards. Wait. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, right! They said that when it gets into... Okay, so that substance is what they were talking about. When one of the pills gets in, it causes it to explode, which is how we break those boxes. Okay, good to know. I still don't know what the use for making ourselves hallucinate is, but there we are. Which opens that, which lets us do this. Oh, shut up, I hope you can't get in here. And let's just drain this entire quarry in a matter of seconds. Or what I hope would be seconds. Not realistic, but certainly helpful for the situation at hand. Alright. In you go. Set in you go. Yo. Come on. Alright, this way, buddy. Oh wait, no, it's actually reduced to a narrow path that I am going to have to walk. This was not the time for this to happen! Uh, in addition to healing, lure pills also boost your speed for a time. Alright, let's take them. Who cares about the consequences? Just take the pills. Run, 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 run. 
Uh, see, I, I doubt a matador would ever intentionally lure a bull down a hallway. That seems like you're throwing away all of your potential advantages. More pills, more ammo, more health. And let's continue to drain this thing. Uh, no, out of my way! Here. Eat. I will continue running for a time. And you're already back on my tail. Just need you to keep moving. Just need you to keep charging. And I need to keep dodging. And then, no, oh, we just go back to where we came. All right, join me down in the quarry, sir. We need to, we really need to dig deep and get to the center of your issues. Can you tell me what your first day of school was like? Also, have you ever considered hurling yourself off a cliff? Because that might be a good place to start. Uh, pills, 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 pills. You take that. Oh, I love that comedy popping sound the bottle makes. Uh, these traps are holding boulders. Uh, are we gonna have to... Okay, we're gonna have to get you to crush yourself in your anger. Which is sort of what I was thinking already. I mean, uh, that's what basically the first area where we were listening to the tapes felt like. It felt like the aftermath of someone who went on a rampage in their anger and then sort of was left to look around at the aftermath and the devastation that they caused to their own future. It's a hook. I gotta hit him where it hurts. This is where he ended up. That armor of his. Maybe if I lure him into ramming one of those pillars. Okay. The first obvious part of this, and you straight up tell me it. That's exceptionally clear. But I can't get you to ram these things with all these rocks in the way. Here. I'm trying to help you. Oh, wait. That glow is actually the substance down there. All right, so let's throw that. And... Uh, boom. Boom. Okay, so all that does... His armor's breaking, exposing him. Nice. Okay. But am I supposed to exploit that in that time, or is that the actual damage? All right, I see what I need to do now, and it's not that difficult. Uh... Toss that down. It also acts as a lure, so he'll be in the right place at the right time. Break that down. Hit you again, and we can see. His skull is cracking. He's weak. Uh, I considered testing it for a moment, but it might be kind of a bad luck if I just shoot him in the head. That's generally frowned upon in this profession. Right here. At a certain point, I think you could catch on, but it's actually in my best interest that you don't. Come on. I don't care about your business. I care about your life. And wham. I have to calm him down somehow. He seems receptive to these lure pills. And now. Only at the end we get to the part where we prescribe him medication. If I can throw these war pills into yeah. the exposed parts, I can calm the man inside the machine. Oh, we have to actually administer them ourselves, do we? All right. Uh, a direct hit with these lure pills might do the trick. But a direct hit to where? What's exposed? Is it the eyes or straight into his mouth? Yeah, that certainly seemed to work. Parts of him are exposed. These pills seem to work. The eyes, perhaps? No. The pills calm him down. It, it's working. He's gotten slower now. In a way, like, even though he's still trying to charge me, 
I can almost use that to get him in the position I want him. Yes, I will finish the job. He's actually letting me in now. Oh, we made a real breakthrough here, Max. I'm so happy. Come on, pull yourself out of that muck. Whoops. Okay, well that didn't go as I expected, but... Maybe it went as you needed. say about that. Given what we had to do to get here, can we assume that his body was never actually recovered from the flooded quarry? He did this with this note in the glove box. My lovely Madison, I know I haven't been the best dad a girl could ask for. I have flaws. Too many to count but I always wanted what's best for you. Please don't think that because the court made a mistake and let your mother take you away that I love or care for you any less. I will find a way to glue our family back together. My new therapist says speaking the truth is healing. Here's the truth. I miss you every day I'm not with you. You're my everything. Be good. Dad. Yeah. It's gotta be hard. I think I understand Max a little better. There we are. Now, this seems to me like a guy who always knew what was right, but would just lose control when he was angry. And to be honest, it seems like he had a lot of reasons to be angry. The things he's feeling made to feel useless, made to feel like a cog in a machine. Well, I think a lot of people can relate to that. I mean, just look at the prevalence of, you know, movies like Taxi Driver or Joker or Dog Day Afternoon or John Q. In these movies, we kind of tend to root for the shooter or the hostage taker because I think a lot of us, those with more self-control than Max, uh, wish we could do stuff like this. head back, and I believe we should have more tapes to listen to on the way. Oh, there wasn't any violence in my upbringing. There was discipline, and yeah, sometimes it hurt, but get that dumbass cat out of here, I'm gonna toss it out the window. Damn thing makes my nose itch. Tanya, out. Let's not threaten the cat. I'll keep her outside. Now, I didn't mean that, I'm sorry, I just... Willing to admit that I I get angry sometimes, but there's a lot of stuff that's pissing me off, Doc. Like what? Adding even more to that 
like sort of cog in a machine feeling a loose bolt that's been disposed of he's also in way over his head with this he's a blue collar worker asked to take on a small part in a job that is just beyond someone like his comprehension and he doesn't understand why this is such a serious matter that like seemingly this minor accident is enough to cost him basically everything he's built over his entire life feeling that army hippie guy is going to be our next patient, given when they decided to introduce him. course of that, he actually worked himself into such a rage that he left directly from here and went to the quarry. Uh, which feeds into another nice piece of insight that you guys in the comments let me know. Tanya said that you could argue that she could always talk, I just never cared to listen. And that's more or less what uh, Virginia's song was about. Now, that's kind of been the running thread with me, is that my character, for all that he does care legitimately, that seems to be the thing, is that he doesn't really listen to his patients, seemingly just kind of offering them advice based on, like, a flowchart. Well, I guess we'll learn more about that as we go. Hey there, Tanya. You got something to say? I don't understand. How could Meyer do something like this? Because they think they could get away with it. Listen, someone called here while you were out. It sounded urgent. You should check your messages ASAP. Gotcha. Uh, who's calling me? Am I even on Earth anymore? Dr. Wales, you there? Listen, the meeting went bad. They took her, man. I barely escaped. They're gonna do. They're after me, and they might be coming after you too, just for seeing me. I'm sorry. Please contact me so we can figure this out. And don't drink from the tap. Isn't that Lucas Cole, one of your patients? Yes. Though he didn't show for his last appointment. You should call him back. Phones haven't really been working in my favor. Guess we have to do this the hard way. Lucas had a cabin in the forest, didn't he? You should try and see if you can access it from the building. Maybe there's something there that'll help us make contact with him. Or a tape. While you're at it, you should check out what's happening downstairs. This place is falling apart. Well, I guess that's that time limit that's been hanging over us the entire time. I'm not sure those pills from the quarry are meant for human consumption. On the other hand, how can this get any weirder? Yeah, that's been my idea. Bye. Bye. Well, I guess we know Lucas Cole is our army hippie guy. But from the sound of it, we don't know what happened to him. He could potentially still be alive. And maybe we can even still save him. He said something about they took her, and they might try and take me too, which means that I'm just as much a part of this conspiracy as anyone. Unfortunately, we're going to have to wait until next time to start unraveling that mystery once and for all. 
Also, don't worry, I didn't forget about anybody else's records. We'll be playing Alan's and Max's as soon as the next part starts. And I just realized we can probably gain roof access. Uh, but that'll have to wait until next time. Until then, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, <laughs> yo, uh, that link will also be in the description. Next time, I'm hitting you. I would like that. And as always, I will see you in the next one when we'll also read Max's file.